put that Skenya screw, should throw it in the bin because Skenya's are rubbish, in there and then I'll clean the bench off. It's pretty dirty. Then I'll hit the cases for the A41. That'll be a job message. Hang on. No. Might get the night off. <coughs> so yeah, I'll start cleaning the bits for the A41 and next time you see me, hopefully I'll be all putting the cases back together in the crank, maybe. Still got to sort out that that glue issue that's better, now you can see it, I've got the door open, see that's where the keyway sits and that's all glue so yeah actually I might have a look ah, okay so the points run off that cam. Can you see the, it gets higher there? So it opens the points when the timing is right at top dead. Whoa, that's sick because I can literally chip all that glue out and I can fill that with weld and grind it back I've got a gasless MIG so I'll have it set low so I can uh, all that glue just comes straight off Keyway still in it. It's just sheared completely off. So if I can get that out, I can get a new one. And if I can get it out, uh, yeah, that's the way. That's probably why it's sheared. If I can get that out, I might just find, I might use JB Weld. Smear it on there. Put a new keyway, or put the new keyway in it, smear it on there and then put the flywheel on all in one hit. Thanks for watching. Next time you see me, hopefully we'll be putting this together. Thank you.
Oh, didn't know I was filming. There we go. That's better, eh? Didn't know you could change the brightness on the screen. Beautiful. I'll close the door and have a look. Oh, that's heaps better. iPad fell out before. Out of my mount, I can't find the other two tabs that you know hold it there, so it's sitting on the two pads down the bottom. So I'm just uh, cleaning up the bench again. This is going to get another coffee. This one's cold and I've had it for about three hours now. Um, so I'm cleaning the bench off, cleaning the cases for the 041 and all the other bits that are dirty. I'm just going to spray them with me, uh, dissolve it, let them soak for five to ten, hose them off, <coughs> then I'll blow them off with compressed air and then I'll sit them out in the sun in the wind to dry I've got the night off that's cool so I'll be in here up until about 6 p.m. putting this saw back together I'll catch you in about 20 minutes half an hour how's it going? just an update Most of this stuff is hard to get off. She's clean enough. Um, I've got to find all these little spaces for the flywheel again, and the cases are sitting on the door. I don't know if you can see. No, too bright. They sit on the cross member of my door drying. I just use the compressor, but we should be into it in about 10, 10 minutes. Put the cases together at least. I mean, the, the handle's still got crap in it, but. And I've got to find a switch. Or try to fix that one. I've got to put the. The starter pulls and that back in the old AV fuel tank. I've got to take that grommet out so it's the correct size hose instead of this stupid, insanely large hose with a hose inside it. This is the starter off the saw. So I'll just wipe that crap out of there. Still got fuel in it, so it's sitting down there. Um, I'll have to go look at the filters Sean give me. I'm pretty sure they got those tabs. Anyway, I'm just concentrating on getting the, the case back together. For now, I'll probably finish the whole saw by tonight, but Excuse me. Um, yeah, that's the plan. Next time I'm looking at you, I'm putting the cases together. Have a good one. How's it going? Guess what? I got the sheet off key out of the crank. You can see. Right there, there's a chunk out of it. I was going to fill up all that with weld, but then I thought, nah. Because when that's in the saw, 
you're pulling that way so if it was a reverse spinning engine uh, anti-clockwise <clears throat> it'll just shear another key because you're starting it that way it's not really an issue so I'll put a new key in it I'm pretty sure I've got one somewhere it looks to be the same size as the uh, MS660 problem is it's probably Chinese and they shear easy of I've sheared three in that 660 down there so we'll put the cases together and when I put the key in I'll just fill this in here with JB when I put the flywheel on same motion same time because it might push some up or down it's not much it's literally I don't know two mil a mil it's windy at least I got the old one out it took a while with the uh, hammer and chisel so we'll go ahead and pop the seal out if it wants to come out yeah well it's got to come out because I'm going to get the bearing out the other side If this saw did eventually go with the timing right it, it wouldn't have ran right anyway the seals are hard as rocks so plastic hammer put the screwdriver in there behind the bearing your seal it's stuffed okay bearing five eights five five eights socket uh, spark plug socket Move two mil. <clears throat> Everything's bouncing on the table. Yeah, we might get where's that? Block of wood. Yeah. Oh, stinks too. So now it's out. That couple of taps might have you can see some crap in there, but um
just noticed that. Look at that nick. I don't know if that's right. Piece, piece broken from the case. What I'll do with the other one. Yeah, that's not right. No piece missing in this one. Um, and I can use this side. Same mount. It's just going to have a different serial number. 263185910. Nine six four eight seven two three, and the newer style cap. But then I'm gonna to have to use that starter. <coughs> that sucks. And that's the oil tank. Well, what, what can you do? It's not stuck on that side. So whoever was in this saw, they didn't even use a gasket, they just used gasket maker. to go around take it all off with some sand light sandpaper it's back over now the shed <sighs> anyway we'll worry about getting this bearing yet I use the same socket because there's a cir there's a circlip in there. That come out way too easy. I'll hold it up in your stomach and. See it. Six two eight two SKF. Cause it been changed at some stage. So while it's like that, I've got a gasket scraper, but it tends to scratch the surface. Is that damn paper? Or no, that's gasket paper. <coughs> Excuse me. So. Get some gasket uh, sandpaper. Um, if I've got to use the other half, it's going to throw this. starter out maybe not might, might get away with it because this hole is still the same size standard size I'll whack the other half on it 
I'll just make note of this um, serial number for the others for the saw. <coughs> so I'll have to whack this case half on it and it's I don't know how this this ring here goes in. I think it sits over it like that. It's broken too, so I mean that case didn't have this funny ring. I don't even know what it's for. Must be like a spacer. There somehow. I don't really need it, I don't think. So white sand. It needs cleaning. I might do that. I'll just spray it with carby clean outside. Get the sandpaper and we'll come back. How's it going? So this case halves, it cleaned up pretty good, it's flaking paint everywhere, but so the, I use this no fill P120, this half's pretty good because I used it, it only had uh, the, um, where is it? It had that marker paint on it. <clears throat> that worth this stuff, the black paint marker for the gasket for that one. I just painted it on there, stuck it on the gasket paper, and then cut it out. So this side's pretty good. I'll give the uh, cylinder base area of white hit when I mean light I mean light um, the cylinder when I get that prepped I will um, <clears throat> stick it on the bench on a sheet couple of backward and forwards motions and just to clean the surface area up so I'm just getting this silicon out of these screw holes I don't know what brand it seems pretty crappy it's almost like wood glue so there's nothing left in the holes I'll just go around knock the, sil the silicon off I'm not going to overwork it I'm going to put of my red RTV around both sides of the gaskets just for extra protection especially around the oil tank I don't want it to leak although I've never had a problem um, when I've done the 024 and the 026 I never used RTV I just put the papers paper gaskets straight down and bolted it together I don't think well neither of them leaked well I didn't own the 026 long enough so 
I sold it unfortunately. But I've still got the A24. It's still good. And it gets used every year, except this year, because of lockdown. So I don't know if you've seen the video, well it's a start up video, um, I ported and, ported and polished and muffle modded it, I've got to get the um, upgraded, uh, I've got to upgrade the oil pump on it, because they're obsolete. The older model drives straight off the, so it's kind of like this idea. It drives off the pressure from the clutch being screwed on, as opposed to the modern modern day models. They're driven off the uh, off the sprocket. So I've got to put the uh, MS260 oil pump on it, change the sprocket and the worm gear, well, I don't have to, I've got, I've got another 024, they're all genuine, untouched, it's a red lever I think. This one ready. It's all genuine, so whereas mine has an aftermarket piston in it, uh, rings. It was only lightly scored, that wouldn't idle, so I just thought I'll rip it apart and give it a rebuild. Which I did. So now that's done. I'll just take it outside again and blow the all that sandpaper, all the crap out of it. Back at the back in a sec. How's it going? Back. Okay. So first things first, uh, bearings, might have to go to get my heat gun, blowtorch. So this invoice I'll keep in my book. I've, written, I've wrote the numbers down, so so everything, even the even the size of the man caves written down in here. So I've got the bearings for the A41 red top. The bearings and seal size are written down. Wrote down a reminder. I've got to fix fix the intake manifold. So we've got 6202, yep, that's this side, NSK, 38 by 14 by 38, that's your size. Oh yeah, forgot to bring a pick with me. So I'll show you what I mean. So when you get them, you get that. They're like that, so you can probably mount them to a. They're probably like a billy cart size. So what you do is, 
clean screwdriver first. If you've got those little o-ring picks, they work good. So you pop this off, this out. They come pre-lubed with clear, clear grease. It burns off in about three seconds. So just pop those off. In she goes. Um, okay, this one's slightly. Slightly different to the one that come out of it, even though this one's SKF. It doesn't really matter what way you put it in, but I like to leave the writing. It only says C3 this one on the inside, like so. I was going to heat the Heat the case, but it looks like it'll go in fairly easy. I use the rubber side. Just give this corner another tap. It's got a stopper in the other side, so I'd say it's hitting the stopper, but it's not. Yeah, it's square. It's not touching the uh, the circlip yet, but it's flush on one side. Let's give it a tap with the plastic side on the other. It'll sort itself out. I normally put them on the crank first. But I'm doing it this way today, just for a change. So we've got uh, it's flywheel side, <coughs> uh, clutch side four zero zero eight six two N, and I believe this one you don't need to put glue on. Because these are the actual size. So I'll, we'll leave that seal until the very last. I don't think the oil pump will work. Well, actually, it's missing that part. So, yeah. Bearings in on the clutch side. Flywheel side is a 6002 standard apparently. I've it's the first application I've ever had to put bearings in that that's this size. Uh, I'm not quite sure where these are made, but he like the Japanese. Same bearing I've got. I think it's the same uh, combination they give me for the my other O4 one there. That cap's pretty crappy on them. Japanese Nachi. 6002 2NSE C3 
I think C3 was the application that he said from memory. I suppose you've got different types for. So there's, there is some grease in there, but not as much as the last lot that I did. And there is no stamp or markings. There might be, but I can't read it. In. I just hope this little bit of corrosion and the flaking paint doesn't hurt well the, hurt the engine but if I sand them off Should be sweet, eh? Yeah, they're not gonna flake now. If they do, they do. So bearings in. Oh, sorry. Bearings in. It could probably go another mill. doesn't really need to <laughs> don't know if you've, don't know if you've seen it on Facebook there's a big I think it's a wood storage or it looks like a wood storage pile in the shape of a chainsaw big big top handle and Mrs. just commented on it. Should be right. Right. <clears throat> um. I suppose I've got to check the screws that come out of. The other flywheel side. Check they fit. Of course they do. Cool. Oh yeah. See if this is set. Hopefully it's not. Oh, it feels like it is. I hope it ain't. Because it'll be a story like the bloody screws and everything else at the moment trying to get stuff because of oh look at that because of COVID thing is clean they will I'm gonna try and coerce the set stuff to come out mum home already Cool. So I can get the soft stuff out. Ugh. Doesn't want to work. Okay. Just got to remember that's wet. And I think I'm out. I've got half a tube, I think. Can't go and buy a new corking gun because 
of COVID. But what's on that screwdriver should be enough. So only want a small, yeah you can see, um, small amount, like really, just enough to stop anything going past the new gaskets. It's just a preventative for me, really. Don't want to put the saw back together and then have to pull it back apart, like you've seen with the A32. Numerous times. At least I know when the case has come together I can use carby cleaner and a rag to clean it all up. So that's that side done. <coughs> Get the gasket out and lay it on there before it sets. base gasket for later pretty quality kit this muffler gasket fuel tank gasket it can go in the box under the bench here until I actually get the fuel tank leak which will probably Never happened in my lifetime. Only reason I reckon you get a fuel tank leak is for storing them dry after the season ends and then filling them with fuel. know nine months later it's slightly bigger this gasket and yeah storing them dry they dry out start cracking whatever slightly different design too then filling them with fuel nine months later they go soft and they start Leaking. So here's the other case. Almost forgot about the crank then. You better put that in, eh? So we'll I'll put the crank in somehow. Um, have I got any room? No. Oh, look at this. So I hold the case. This is what I always do. Hit it. Just like that, it's in. Obviously when it... Whoops. I don't want to break the gasket. Obviously when it's running, it heats up.
you know, expansion, contraction, all that jazz. It's almost like the gasket is the wrong, uh, the, sorry, the bearings are the wrong size, but they're not. You, you, get, you get what I mean. Well, I hope you do. So, that might be enough. So, yeah, it, it's like it went on too easy. But, I've, that saw right, that 041 over there, it was pretty much the same. But I could nearly pull it, push it on without tapping it. I could nearly push it on, but I heated it, heated the bearings up in the case oh, and it was the middle of winter so it was like zero degrees in the shed because that's where I was doing it I had, I had a shift that was cancelled on the night of the night time so that's what I did I went out and finished the, finished the saw out and the while well, everyone inside was asleep and I was out the back put my saw back together and yeah, it was easier than that but that was probably the easiest I've had pushing the uh, tapping the crank in So I think once the cases are together, I will, what will I do? <coughs> Find the keyway. As I said, I'm pretty sure it's in one of these tooth boxes uh, locating oh where'd they go in that case I'm going to pull these locating dowels out first I don't know what I can use to trap them out with. Maybe this AV bolt. Sit that there. Sit that there. Plastic side now, I think. One out. Oops, too far. 
Hopefully I didn't wreck the head on that. No, she's good. Okay, one, two. They were, they were in the flywheel side, weren't they? Exactly where. One there. Cases are going back together. So I'll just give it a pull, a push, sorry. Give it a push till it goes to the locating pins and then hold this side. Give that side a little tap. Squeezing together lightly, and then we'll go here. Don't hit too hard. Okay. Now, this is what I do. The hammer. The hammer. Actually, we might use this. Put that there. couple of screws to pull it together not overly you know I don't I don't put too much stress on the case I just screw it lightly and then if I've got to I'll tap it down with the hammer a little bit more. <clears throat> so I'll put three in. So that one went through roughly there. But that one, that one's got paint on it by the looks. So we'll try and get this one started in its hole because the gasket's a little bit too big the case is slightly different too it must be just how they are so we'll get that one started to pull across to this one See once they start grabbing that pulls the cases together, the bearings all already almost all the way on with the crank. So fucking wind. So yeah, once you start screwing it, just pulls it, pulls it together by itself can you see that it's slightly there's a slight gap there and now the screws bottomed probably could have went a little 
bit more further with those locating dowels, but they've got gasket maker all over them, so they're not going to leak there. Bottom this one in, yep. Then we've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two. One, two. Got gasket. Yep, four, five. That's got a spring washer on it for some reason. No, that doesn't. That must be the one that went in on the cylinder. That one. It's got sawdust on it. And gasket maker. Tune and screwdriver, clean the slot out. So this one can go down there. I did say I was going to use the mesh machine screws with the Allen heads to put this back together. But I thought, nah, she'll be right. I don't want to use too many of those if I need them another day. Fair bit of gasket popping out. So I'm just not overly tight on it. So there's a bit of gasket hanging out. Should be right. to go back away for work on the weekend so I'll be able to halt again I think this is the one that slipped remember that one that was up in there wooden crab I believe this is the one so I can go back in that hole down there like that I'll use this little tuning screwdriver to put it back in put Loctite on them too so they they should hold for 30 odd years <laughs> I don't think my I don't have any sons I've only got daughters daughters aren't really into saws or small engines so they'll get handed down to the green sons if I have them which I should my grandfather's got grand sons well I'm one I suppose so but my grandfather only had girls it's probably why I got stuck with girls <coughs> So they'll be getting handed down to the daughters to give to the grandsons if I have them. And they don't get brought up like little sissies. What people do they? They probably will, but eh. Yeah. One in there, I believe. Of course, there is. What have we got? Two more to go. Yep. Yeah. Two more to go. And seals. I think. Do the seals now with the glue it'll 
give them enough time to dry. That's if I do them with the glue. I use them on the, my other, my orange top there. Maybe we'll do this one without that stuff. Bearing bond, bearing mount, same stuff. Yeah. One to come. Tighten it up. Use the long nose because I don't want to touch the crap that's on the sides that wouldn't come off with the. Um, Dissolve it and water, and I hosed it off, and then I used the compressor. So I'll snug and tighten this one there, there, there. So around, I do around the crank case first one two three four then I'll go five six seven eight so I'm using my left hand I'll just go left hand tight that's my torque ref wrench. I do have a oh. torque wrench but it's not for screwdriver things. So tight. That one wasn't even bottomed out properly so Quarter of a turn from bottom down, it's pretty much tight. When I say bottom down, I mean touching this crankcase. And then after it's all down, check them again. I can't turn the screwdriver, it's tight. I need to go and get a pair of vice grips, put them on the screwdriver and turn it again. <coughs> as long as the gasket makers spilling out all the way around, which it is, she's tight. Beautiful. I didn't clean this side, did I? Mama. She'll be right. Um. Yeah. Crank's pretty centre. Probably give it a tap that way. Sweet as I reckon I sit it that way. Sip 
from coffee Miss has bought me. So this top grommet. Got to get this grommet out if it'll come out for the kill wire. Kill wire. Um, yeah, the kill wire. Because it's not in that one. And it's probably a different size hole. Of course it is. So that grommet don't fit. Lucky I've got other ones. I still think this is an A4A. To be honest. That's the grommet that was in that case. See the size difference in the holes? Plus there's a hole there. Yeah, it's different, have a look. See that? That one's got a hole there. That does nothing. But that design's not even on there. It doesn't really matter. <coughs> Have a cigarette and I'll be back. How's it going? So now I've got to cut the little tabs off the gasket there and there, and then we'll put the cylinder back on. So I'll have to go and get me a little scraper blade knife. I'll be back. Yeah, couldn't find the other one. I'll just use this one. Just the king chrome knife. Stanley knife, same thing. Scrape any crap it's still on the base. Now, this end is going to be the fun part. If I can keep it. Oh, look at that, beautiful. Just cut it down the, down the join. That's good. So now I'll use the tuning screwdriver. There's a bit of crap. Probably around about where it'll sit. The base gasket, that is. Just scrape all that away. It's just sawdust. And blow it away from the chamber. Because the base gasket's not getting any RTV. <coughs> oh, and I didn't check if it will go over the piston, did I? So it probably should have went on. No, it'll fit. 
So the writing side up, the pattern side up, is how it'll be going on. Just got to find the gap in the rings, which is about there. Stick it over the rings. She's on. Um, locating pin for the top ring is there. And the one for the where to go there. And the bottom ring, I'm pretty sure, is there. So the gaps are on the bottom. So I've got that stud out, it's been drilled and tapped again, I'm pretty sure that's the bottom of the, the old one, sticking through the hole there, the other side's there. Um, the base, I said I was going to run it over some a sheet but we'll just get the old gasket stuff off paper off and don't want to rub too much in one area just enough to get the pa old paper off A little bit, and that could be the no, there's a little bit of paper left there. cylinder that's good give me a little oil bottle Bit on the rings. <clears throat> and back on we go. This could be a challenge. I don't have a compressor, as you all know, by right now. First ring's already on. Just the what do I do? I put them on and on it went. Put it back there like so. Push it down. Uh, gasket no it doesn't have a certain way it goes it just sits there like that and we're down so just remember 
there was three of these allen head screws and then a flat head I'll put four allen heads back in it lock tight that stud I'm going to have to reuse I don't think I've got a it's bent I don't think I've got a bolt that long with that thread to um, replace that stud so the plan was to put a bolt does it come with that Torx bit, screw, bolt, whatever you want to call it, in this side, and that side was that insanely large stud, so I don't think I've got one for that big this size we'll just put these screws back in diagonally diagonally if you're into Harry Potter Two in, be able to help if it was centered. About there, I think. Yeah, it's going in now, eh? <coughs> What's it talking about? We're going to have to reuse that stud. I believe. So that's down. Just holding the cylinder on. And then I'll find the other two. I don't know why that was on there. Ah, uh, that's all of them. Oh, this one there. I think that's an exhaust one though, but it'll do. I'll just put new ones in the exhaust. That'll do the job. Draining. It was nice and sunny up until now. I think that iPad's going to fall out of that holder again. I'm starting to feel a little funny. It's probably because I haven't had much sleep. But we'll put the cylinder back on and. See what happens from there. Might even well, I could put the JB weld on the crank and put the flywheel on and let it set. We're gonna find there is another chain adjuster in the box I'm pretty sure and that seems to be turning on the screw
just to center it a bit better so this screw will go in nicer it's turning on the bloody it's going down no oh, I can't put the flywheel on because I need to get a Woodruff key, I'm pretty sure I've got one for my 660 but if I don't I'll just I'll have to measure the old one I'm pretty sure it's 3 by whatever they are 3 by something 3 by 5 by Two mil. I think they're two by two by three by five or something. Can't remember how you me measure them. I believe if I clean the, the crap. Now that that head, yeah, that, that works. So when I tighten, I'm gonna I'll start with this one. The rest of it's snug down, so be out there. Move on to this side. Which is going to need that socket that I had before, that one, not that one, this one. About that, I don't want to go overly tight. I mean, if I undo this again, I won't have to. What did we work out? That 150 psi or something something insane so this side's a bit needs a bit more than the other side and then we'll go to this one If I break the ball off the end of this Helen key, I'd be pretty pissed because that's pretty good. Now we'll check this one again. Done. Got the top lid back on, put it over there with the other one. Oh, it loves the compression, this thing. a fair bit of carbon on the exhaust port there's a little bit of leak by I don't know how I'm getting that pop that see that bit of carbon fly off there then cleaning it, I'll just clean it now, then I'll hit it with the compressor, there's a fair 
fair bit, so it's either been running rich. Well, it wasn't tuned properly to begin with. So I've got to leave the crank where it is. This, that, that thingy, where the block goes, that way, so it only was only as long as this, wasn't it? Okay. I believe that's the size that hole is. It's screwing in, but it's fucking overly massive hole. Still need to repair these. One of these studs should fit in there. It's the original O four one block. So yep, I can take one of those studs. Actually, can't really. It's about the length of that Woodruff key too long. So we've got this stupid little gasket thing here. It goes there. which would probably suck air because these little tabs that will suck air in there no doubt not much I can do about that put some RTV around it I might do that right now while it's still wet and sitting here on the block. Put that in there and get some. We'll just smear it around the bottom of this gasket. It'll be dry and set by the time Finished. I've still got to get the Woodruff key. So I'm not putting heaps on, I'm just putting it so it's sticky. And around these little lo locating things. Once it dries, it'll expand. Put that back there. Clean my finger off there. And actually, yeah, that well, it would have helped if I had it on the right time, the right way in the first place. But that's restic restricting airflow in. Smaller than the intake. So yeah, that's on, I 
and popping them down. Everything in my other shit will be getting wet. Back of the tape as guy is coming down sideways. And it's cold. Sorry. Flywheel's all nice and clean. The original. Pardon me. Um, I can't really, can't really remember, remember how this intake come apart and I've lost the rag. Um, no, there it is. So Because we've got the heat shield for the mufflers as well, mounts. Oh, that's first. You can see the little, you can see the marks where it sits, like that. So that goes first. Then this, so I need one, two, three. Yeah, there's a few, fair few gaskets. So that's, that's leather, that, that heat shield. So it goes this, that way. This, that way. Then that. That way. That way. Don't restrict air as well. The block. Oh no, you can center it so it doesn't. So there's a gas between them two and them two. So I've got two of those. And this norm is insane. So yeah. Pretty sure I've got the relevant gaskets. There's two there for the box. Probably won't fit. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. And I've got one of these that go here on top of there, like so. And the other ones kicking around somewhere, homemade job. There was two, probably over there somewhere. Well, yeah, that's it for me for now. I'll wait till this windstorm passes over and I'll come back. Uru.